Hey guys, so, um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick um, grading recap. Um, I just finished uh, catching up on everybody's grade, and thus far I just have to say I am more than thrilled with the work you guys are putting in. Everybody is being successful. Um, there's nobody failing the class. I could not be happier with what I'm seeing. Um, this past quiz, uh, you guys like knocked it out of the park. I'm so happy to see. Um, so just in case you guys want to take it to the next level, I just wanted to show you, um, where my grading head is at, um, and give you some insight in case you do want to improve some of your grades. So this week we did chicken parm with tomato sauce and blanched broccoli. I was happy to read all of your reflections and it seems like everybody was really successful. Um, I think it's important that everybody makes a tomato sauce in their life just because you can appreciate the jar better. Um, but you, that's something that we eat quite commonly but never really know the effort it takes to make it. Um, and also this is the perfect time of year uh, to make a fresh tomato sauce since um, this is the only time of year you should be eating tomatoes. Um, just a note, if you did want to recreate this um, recipe in say the dead of winter, um, you know when you go to the store and sometimes those tomatoes are kind of like yellowy orange and not fully red? Instead of using those, just go to the canned section and get a can of whole peeled tomatoes and make the same recipe using the, hand, the canned tomatoes. Um, the canned tomatoes are actually canned at the peak of ripeness, usually this time of year, um, so you'll just get a better product than trying to make a subpar sauce out of mediocre ingredients. Um, uh, your presentations, a lot of you are on the right page. If some of you are seeing that your grade isn't as high as you want it to be, is because we're not following um, the requirements for the presentation. So, this to review, you're making a PowerPoint or Google Slides presentation, which everybody is doing, so everybody knows that's that's what we're doing. Um, but your first slide, make sure that you have your name, the course title, the date, the recipe name, and an original photo related to the recipe. This is important because all of you save your files as chicken parm, chicken parm presentation, and I have nine of them to look at, so I kind of need to know who's I'm looking at. So this is the way to make sure that I, it is, you know, I have no question of whose it is. And then the preceding slides, all you got to do is copy and paste the recipe. Usually I, I list it out. So please just and have an additional copy of the recipe. This is for your own benefit as well. Like maybe years down the line, you're like, you know what? I made this great chicken parm recipe and I don't remember what the recipe was. And all you have is this presentation. You can look back on it and you have all the information you need. Um, and then a lot of you are missing a picture of your station setup. This includes your mise en place. We've spent so much time learning about mise en place. I want to see it. So I would like to see your cheese measured out. I want to see what everything looks like before you begin. That way I can kind of see the space you're working at. There are some exceptions, and I'll go over that as I show you um, some examples of other people's work. Um, uh, process photos of each step, and then a final result. Now, the final picture is kind of the most important one. I kind of want to see what, how it turned out. Um, some of you were, those were missing, so I kind of had a guess to see if you were successful. Um, so just make sure that we're just following this, um, these procedures. But then I also have, so when I go into grade, I have, standby, I posted this. This is the rubric in which I'm using. So if you want to go ahead and take a look at this, this is what I'm using, making sure that your ingredients are all listed with correct measurements. That's an easy way to get four points right there. Um, the procedure, process photos, organization, and spelling. Please check your spelling. There are so many times I'm seeing flower spelt like the flower as in a flower bud. There are times where I'm seeing sauce misspelled. Um, so just make sure, read it out loud. You kind of catch your spelling mistakes more when you read it out loud. Um, so that's that. So let me just show you guys some, um, examples. Oh, and when you go into Moodle, when you see the grade, if you got something lower than a hundred, if you got a hundred, you just assumed you did everything right. I didn't make a separate, uh, rubric, um, or a score sheet. 
but I did try to upload people's score sheets or at least comment to tell you exactly why you got points taken off. Um, so let's just begin. Let me show you some examples. So this is an example. This is Savina's. Um, although she doesn't have a separate like slide that has the ingredients list, so that's one thing I would add. Um, but the way she takes photos, I feel as though I am in the kitchen with her. So there may not be a separate ingredient list, but I see the entire setup. So if you're someone who doesn't want to do the list of ingredients and that much, as long as you take such detailed photos where I can see every single one and you give me a little bit of a brief description, I can't falter and excited. I feel as though I want to feel as though I'm in your kitchen. That is why I'm asking for this process because otherwise, it's you have to realize it's very hard for me to be grading you on cooking when I'm not even there to taste it or see it. So giving me as much information as possible um, is really helpful for me. Um, let's take a look at another one. And then, it's, and some of you, I think you're mistaking me thinking that you have to be super fancy. Faith kept it very simple. Um, has her ingredients listed, um, ingredients ready to go, so I kind of want to see what you're working with. And again, each step, I see what the equipment is. I see which ones, uh, what we're going through. So each step, I want to feel, again, like I said, I want to feel like I'm in the kitchen with you. Okay. Um, let's take a look at another one. This is... Jeff's um, title page, everything. I know exactly whose it is. This is more of what I'm looking for. Um, ingredient list and then his mise en place. Equipment. I can see what everything is here. We have the instructions, each step going through. And again, I want to feel like I know exactly what's going on. So if you did have an issue and you're tro I'm trying to troubleshoot it for you, I need to be able to have a little bit more information. Um, some of you last week, some of your chicken stocks looked interesting, like the color is interesting. They look like they might have over-reduced. Um, but because I had limited process photos, it was harder for me to distinguish what was actually happening. Um, so if you guys have any more questions on that, um, that's what I'm looking for. Um, so if you see, if your grade isn't as high as you want it to be on your presentations, that's why. Um, so just put a little bit more effort into, I know it's a pain in the ass. I know you guys have a lot of stuff to do. You have a million other classes. Um, but it's basically just copying and pasting. And you don't have to do a crazy description of each photo. As long as you document the photo, if I, I, as long as it's telling, the photo itself is telling the story. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and then I wanted to talk about our knife skills. I'm having a change of heart when it comes to grading these knife skills. Um, just because not everybody has the same kind of equipment, per se. So I think it's kind of unfair for me to be judging everyone on their precision. Because having um, a sharp knife is a very huge deal. Um, so for, for this up until this point, I've given, if you've sent me a knife skills lab, I gave you full credit. 100%. No matter what your presentation looked like. Um, I'm thinking um, for the remainder, um, I want you to do it again. So the, we have our next knife skills lab. It's uh, an eighth of an inch cuts. Um, so I'm still obviously going to grade it. But... I just want to see this, just whatever you've done in the past, you're doing it and you'll get full credit. Um, and then I'm considering for the midterm um, that you guys get to pick a vegetable you want to cut, i.e. if you have not the great knives, picking something that's a little softer, like a potato, will probably make things easier for you. And I'll probably just require to give me an example of every cut and you can decide what vegetable you use. Um, but I did want to show this is Jeff's um, knife skills presentation. So this is exactly what I'm looking for in terms of presentation. Um, his equipment, what the equipment needed, it's listed out. Uh, what cuts we're using, what items to be cut. 
uh, I can see the garbage bowl as it plus the waste in each final cut. Okay. Um, I have another one. Vishnu, his was also really good. I'll start from the beginning. Uh, Knife Lab. Um, again, listing out what the uh, cuts are, what we're using, what I'm looking at. Um, I can see the equipment, his mise en place, uh, and his cuts. So this is what I would like to see. So moving forward, please do something along these lines. I will still, as long as you have like this effort put into it, you'll get 100% regardless of what your knife cuts look like. I will not grade you on precision until the midterm and final, which again, I'll let you guys choose the vegetable of your choice. With the exception of onion, because I mean, I think everybody needs to know how to cut an onion. Um, but again, I'm, I'm still thinking this is this course again, we have said it before, it's new to the online world. So any feedback you guys have for me to make this cor course better, um, I really am open to it. So don't think you're going to hurt my feelings or anything. Um, so I will take any ideas. I hope you guys are enjoying this thus far. Um, it seems, and I love reading your reflections, so hopefully that means you guys are enjoying this class. I've enjoyed, um, I think you guys are, knock, again, knocking it out of the park. Um, so yeah, that's all I have. Again, great work. Um, next week we will have a powwow on Tuesday if need be. And also, uh, keep this date in mind, um, October 20th. Um, I have a dean that's going to be sitting in on our class. I've told them that our Tuesdays are kind of unofficial. Um, so if anybody can mark that in their calendar and be present for the 20th, um, it'd be greatly appreciated. Um, and uh, I'll get back to you guys next week. So keep doing what you're doing and uh, let me know if you have any questions.